and princes and anyone else out there. Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So first of all, sorry we're not in my room today. Um, it's because it is literally a mess. I'm in the middle of like 80 do-it-yourselves and uh, yeah, I was too lazy to clean it before I started to film this video. So we're just gonna do it in my living room instead. Anyways, um, I had mentioned in my how to make cheap clothes look expensive video that I actually ripped my own pair of jeans, um, the ones that I was wearing with like the white tank top thing and I got so many questions about them. Holy camoly, spinoly, baloney. That doesn't make any sense. I don't even think that's an expression, but now it is because I made it up. Anyways, um, today I'm gonna show you how to rip your own denim because it's so stinking easy. I actually learned from a YouTube video myself. So I'm gonna show you how to do it because I promise you, you can do it too. So here we go. Do it yourself, rip denim style. All right, back at it again with the super easy DIYs. You only need two things for this. You need some scissors. And you need some tweezers, which apparently are my favorite tool because I use them in everything, and that is it. <laughs> just kidding, I almost forgot. You definitely, obviously need some denim to rip. So just pick your favorite denim and we will get to tearing it up. Literally. <laughs> Here we go. I'm weird and personally like to put the jeans on when I'm doing it because then I can see exactly where um, the rips are going to be. So all you're gonna do is kind of draw where you're gonna wanna cut um, the jeans. It's just gonna be a quick little horizontal line, super easy, nothing too drastic. Doesn't have to be perfect, not even close. After you draw the little lines, take the jeans off just so you don't cut yourself. Um, and we're just gonna cut right across here into little horizontal lines like that. Okay, so there you go. You can see we got the nice little slits. They don't have to be perfect at all, um, but you can see we got kind of one area here and one area here, and this is how we're going to make the holes look like this. Okay, so here we go. You can see where we've cut the two lines, and now all you're gonna do is take your tweezers and see the little blue threads? Boop, you're going to pull the blue threads away from the white ones, which are actually running horizontal, which you can't really see, but all you gotta do is take them, and instead of tweezing your eyebrows, we're gonna tweeze the pants. I'll give you a little bit of a better close up here so you can see. Um, but yeah, these little blue threads that are sticking out, literally just pull on them with the tweezers and they'll come right out. Boom, boom, boom. It will eventually start to look like that distressed denim look right here. You can see it starting to get a little bit more um, messed up. So then just keep doing in mass areas, keep pulling the little pieces out. You can pull on the little white ones too if you want and you will have your distressed look in no time. Okay, so there you go. It's getting a little more distressed. Now, as you can see, I have just cut a circle. Um, these are the jeans that I was wearing in the other video and I want them to be really distressed. So I literally just take the scissors and just Cut a hole like this, bum, 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 bum. And cut around, boop, boop, boop. Toss that and then we will just pull out at the little seams right here to give it a more distressed look. So as you can see, I've literally just plucked them to death. Um, the coolest thing about ripping jeans is you're already messing them up, so it's impossible to mess it up. So literally, just do whatever you think will look good. There's no way to ruin it, so just mess around with it, have fun, and see what you can come up with. So there you go, you can see we're getting closer. Pretty much did up this side pretty good. Um, it's not fully done yet, but then same thing with this. You can just cut holes in it. Um, you don't even need to mark it. You can just cut however you want and then just get to pulling on it again to mess it up a little. And that are the only steps you guys have to do. And then just do them as much as you want or as little as you want. You can do a bunch of little holes. You can do a bunch of big holes. It's however you float your boat. I'm gonna do the, this, excuse me, the hiccups, this particular tutorial. So they're like completely distressed, but it's up to you. Just do whatever you want to your jeans. <laughs> Ta-da! Ooh, my thighs are doing that thing when you sit. Anyways, I also recommend putting them on your leg while you're in the middle of it, just to kind of see what you're doing. Um, so like, as you can see, this looks pretty good, but <laughs> yes, I do have one on and one not. Um, so this looks good. Gonna wanna rip this up a little more and maybe put some extra holes here, just so you can see what you wanna do while you're doing it. You can just keep cutting, rake random holes here and there, match them up with the stresses already in there, and then just keep kind of plucking at them. Like I said, there's no way to mess this up because the whole project is messing it up. So you can do literally whatever you wanna do. Then just go ahead and trim off the extra jean fuzzies. Um, you can see like this piece is so long. So just snip, 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 and you'll be good to go. 
Woo, okay, so I think that's enough cutting for now. Um, as you can see, they are pretty much all destroyed. Rub it off a little bit. And um, my roommates are gonna kill me for me. That's <laughs> my garbage. But you know, hey, what can you do? I literally made a trail all over the place. Anyways. Then when you're done cutting them, just throw them in the wash, and then when you take them out of the wash and dryer, they should be distressed and looking fabulous as ever. Look at that. You nailed it, baby cakes. You nailed it. <laughs> By the way, these shoes, could you just die at them? Oh, 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 I thought for the denim spirit it would be great. I got them at Lola's, of course. So fun, so cute. So there you have it, you guys. That is how I rip my own denim. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up in the comment section below and I will answer as many as I can. Um, and if you wanna say hi anywhere else, all my socials are at Amber Scholl. So I love connecting with you on there, so let's be friends. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you have fun. Snap me some pictures of your new distressed denim look. Um, because I'd love to see them. So until next time, kisses. I love you. XO. <laughs> oh my God, I was holding that in the whole time. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>